My name is Debbie Ray. I work for Learning Curve Group, which I've been with since 2011. And today was to raise awareness about mental health problems. I think it's very important and I think it's highlighting the stigma that's attached to our mental health problems. And some of them did open up to various mental health problems that they've experienced themselves or they know somebody who has experienced these sort of things and they found out where to go for help. Having footballers do this sort of thing I think will help reduce the stigma around mental health and I think if the footballers show that there's no stigma there then it'll encourage the fans and the supporters to also think head on you, it is acceptable to get help and to own up. Good. Um really informative I think in our line of work um, probably something that's relative to everybody um, good to get all the players together because especially in times that are the way they are at the moment you don't get as much opportunity to um, to be in a group and go through something that like I say could have could have a big impact so like, I think it'll be worthwhile for everybody we're doing right at the moment so hopefully it'll continue um no i think anything you can do in terms of regardless from our perspective in terms of that that team spirit and team building and getting people to, to open up and, and almost be probably outside the comfort zone a little bit at times will only will only help because um when you have i suppose such a big group there are naturally going to be ones that are bigger voices within that so to have everybody join in and participate will, will certainly help the ones that are slightly maybe less confident than maybe others. It's massively important. I think it's obviously been highlighted more in the, in the recent past. I suppose you go back 10, 15 years, it was something that was maybe frowned upon. And as, we, and as, as probably been said in there, you would have been told to get on with stuff. There was nothing wrong with you. And um, I've probably come through dressing rooms like that, I think not just football life in itself has changed and people are more aware of people's feelings and potentially what goes on inside people's heads and how that impacts other parts of the life. Um, like I said, I think football especially because of the, the high pressure nature of the, the situation, the environment you're in, that ultimately you're judged on wins. Um, certainly as a management team you are, probably a little bit easier when you're a, you're a player, um, but it's something that you need to be aware because you have no idea what like I say, it's going on with people's life outside of football. We get to see them, I suppose, quite a lot, but for a small portion of their whole day. And what's going on um, personally, uh, away from football, can have a massive impact on how they perform on the pitch. I think it's uh, you only need to see that the strides that have been made over the, over the recent past, that it's something that is now um, spoken about more, more often. And, like I say, education and people being willing to talk about it is the only way that things move forward, like a whole lot of other issues that are currently happening. Um, not just as, as football, but I think, especially in this country, football has a, a big opportunity because it has a huge impact on so many people's lives. Yeah, really good, really rewarding, I think. Um, a lot of the lads obviously got involved. Um, it was interesting to hear different uh, views from everyone, I think, because it's not very often you get, uh, especially in a football team, like people um, want to speak about things like mental health, and I think it, people do need to speak about it more. Yeah, like I said, I think it's a different scenario that like, we don't really face in football. I think it's not really spoke about enough. Even in um, everyday life, you know, people don't really want to speak about mental health and things they're going through and things, but I think the more we can kind of understand each other, whether that help was off the pitch and on, on the pitch. So and I think it's been quite a good um, interactive session. Yeah, definitely. I think physically we're um, everything we do. So um, looked upon in terms of stats and things and how we're feeling and recovery days and how we can perform to the best of our ability physically. But then no one really talks about the mental side in football. And I think the more we can kind of talk about it and more openly, um, it'll go hand in hand with the physical side. I probably, uh, most people think it should be a bigger thing, especially in sport and even in just general life, people's day to day with work and especially with what's happened with lockdown and coronavirus. Um, it's not spoken about enough. People obviously struggle and don't like to speak about it, which, which I do get, but I think it does need to be spoken about so everyone can un um, understand and get to know each other better on and how they're feeling and things.